Hello camera, you are now perched in my sewing box um, and I would like to bring you on a little adventure which is decorating my American Duchess mules. Um, these are the mules from a very long time ago and I got them in high school. It was around like 2015 I think and I did not actually do anything to them until 2021. So they were just kind of sitting there being the light blue color for many years. And you might be wondering, what is a grungy little Canadian peasant like me gonna do with shoes like this? But just you wait, okay, because I have some grand plans for my wardrobe. And perhaps some videos about that will be forthcoming, but I honestly cannot make any promises because I do also go to college. However, this is a project that is completed and thus um, here is our foray into that process and uh, please enjoy. So as I mentioned, I got these shoes when they were on sale a very long time ago. And originally they made these shoes in a light pink and a light blue. So this is what they looked like when they were new. As I was embarking on this quest, I consulted many pairs of originals in various online museum collections, and two of those really stood out to me as inspiration. So this is the first pair, it's in the MFA, and I really liked the salmon collar as well as the contrasting turquoise ribbon around the opening of the shoe. The second pair is this pair from the Met. It has a teal color that I wanted to emulate on my mules, and I really liked the light pink ribbon. So both of these pairs gave me the inspiration for my color scheme. The first step in painting the shoes was to mix the paint. So what I'm doing here is mixing blue and yellow acrylic paint with some GAC 800, which is a medium that makes the paint texture more fluid and suitable for painting on fabric. Then I started to apply the paint with a short bristled paintbrush and q-tips beginning at the top of the mule and working down towards the toe. After a full first coat, I allowed it to dry completely overnight and this is what it looked like after the first coat. After the first coat, it looked a little blotchy, so as you can see, I'm applying a second coat. As I got down towards the sole of the shoe, I used q-tips to remove any paint from staining the white leather of the rand. Then I allowed the second coat to fully dry as well. When using GAC 800, it needs to be heat set and it suggests placing the fabric in a dryer, but since this was not possible, I blow dried it for a while using the highest setting on my blow dryer. The next step is tacking on this silk taffeta ribbon and I'm attaching it using a silk sewing thread. I tacked it to the outside and then folded it to the inside and whip stitched it to the lining. And then here's the finished result. I was thinking eventually if I can find a metal lace that is thin enough and that looks period appropriate that I might attach that over the pink ribbon because that's something that we see in some of these period originals that I've been looking at but I haven't been able to find a metallic lace that's affordable and accurate yet, so I'm just gonna wait and keep them as is for now. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was interesting for you. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I am planning to have more 18th century uh, sewing and fashion related videos coming out soon, so if you're not subscribed already, I would recommend doing that, and have a great day.